It was very much like a dessert. There's nothing healthy about it. everyone. I hope that you're having a super wonderful day so far. So today is Saturday when I'm filming this. We're just going to kind of spend the day together. I'm so excited. So much has happened. I've got a lot to catch you guys up on, but first we've got a grocery pickup this morning, so I'm going to go and do that. And I actually ran out of coffee pods yesterday, so we're also going to go and pick up a Starbucks drink this morning. So we're going to go do all of that, and then we're going to catch up when I get home. I have a pickup for Olivia. Yes. Thank you so much. You too. All right, we've parked, we've secured the coffee. This is my coffee order that I actually shared in um, my July plan with me. It was one of the things that I was like really loving. It is very much like a dessert. There's nothing healthy about it. Mm, so good. It's a venti iced toasted vanilla oat milk shaken espresso but i don't actually get it with oat milk i get it with whole milk and it has vanilla sweet cream cold foam blonde espresso and two pumps of mocha mm. all right i just got home i'm going to do a little grocery haul because i love seeing what people buy at the grocery store so we're going to do a little grocery haul all right so starting over here i picked up these little alphabet cookies because i'm actually going to use these in a little open house gift the only thing is i ordered two of these because there's only 12 little packs inside one box and I swear to you I ordered two, but I don't know, I'll have to go back and look. If not, I'm just gonna have to pick up another box of those. We got a giant thing of paper towels. Here is the creamer that I've been using for my coffee, except I normally buy the sweet cream one, but they didn't have that one, so they gave me just the vanilla one. Hopefully that's good. We picked up some cheese. We've got a teriyaki sauce for our fish, which some of the groceries that we need we're actually going to get from a different store because i just didn't trust buying my fish from walmart so anyway we've got some frozen edamame some parmesan we've got some fire roasted tomatoes tomato paste because i'm going to make a homemade pizza sauce pumpkin puree because i have been really into making like a pumpkin cold foam for my coffee if you know you know tortellini for one of our dinners that we're going to have. I bought some frozen strawberries because we actually have some frozen bananas already in the freezer so I thought we could make like a strawberry banana smoothie situation so got those. Pineapple because we've got some tahini and pineapple and tahini seasoning is like the best thing ever. Picked up some eggs, some more Dave's Killer Bread. This is our favorite bread that we buy. Apple juice, lactose-free milk because... <laughs> milk upsets my stomach at least when I'm making my own coffee I would rather just have the lactose free like if I go out to Starbucks I do get whole milk and I just like you know cross my fingers orange juice we picked up some washing machine cleaner I love these things it like it does such a good job at cleaning your washing machine out we picked up some more Glade plugins I think I talked about these in maybe one of my last vlogs this is probably my favorite scent ever again I'm not sure about the ingredients I know it's probably not the cleanest thing but until I can kind of like figure out what I would rather use, I just picked up these. I've been using the Native Body Wash. It's like a really good clean ingredient one. We've got some little biscuits for Freddy. Matt picked up some beard wash and then your girl has some sweaty pets. So we've got clinical strength deodorant. <laughs> Again, I would rather use natural, but I just never had any that really worked for me. So anyway. All right, we have just had ourselves a productive little morning. I wasn't even expecting to be this productive, but like I had my alarm set for seven. I'm not the type of person that will sleep until like 10 or 11 most of the time. And I did sleep a little bit longer than that. And then I finally got up. I already did my quiet time this morning. Um, I used the Paul David Tripp's New Morning Mercies. I love it. And I read a chapter from my Bible. So good this morning. It was just talking about how God enables you to do the things that he calls you to do. And it was just such a great thing to hear this morning especially as my anxiety is like revving up for the new school year so anyway that was really good when i got our coffee picked up groceries so we're just having a great little day but i wanted to take a second to kind of jump on here do a quick little chat because it is insane to me that 
I don't know, two or three vlogs ago, I believe it was, I was telling you all about how by the time school started back for me, my goal was to have 100 subscribers, which I know is such a small number, but like I've tried to grow really naturally. Like I try not to push anything. And so that was my goal. And Matt's like, oh, you're gonna get it. Like, it's gonna be great. Well, we met it in that vlog that I was sharing that with you. Not even three weeks later, I've surpassed that goal met 200 if you can see behind me matt actually surprised me with flowers yeah so today is saturday this was wednesday matt came home with flowers and like some sparkling grape juice because i had met 200 which was crazy because we had just met 100. happy 200 subscribers <laughs> it was just so sweet so that was wednesday and now y'all have blown my mind because today, so like I said, it's that was Wednesday, today is Saturday, and we are now at 322. I just, to have grown that quickly is crazy to me. So thank you to those of you who have subscribed and decided to stick around. It truly means the world to me because like I've said before, this channel is just like my creative outlet. I'm a teacher and I don't know, I just, I've loved it. I've loved just, making videos this summer it's been so fun in november it will be a year that i've had my channel so it's exciting and that's that's all that's all i wanted to say i'm just excited i realized also that i have some new plant babies to share with you so let's do that really quick starting with this beauty oh my goodness so this is actually not staying at our apartment this one is going to go to my classroom but look at him oh my goodness so this is actually like a three in one so we've got a rubber plant right here, a fiddle right here, and a pothos trailing at the bottom. So beautiful. So this is going to go in my classroom and you'll see it when I do my whole little classroom reveal. And then, um, so we bought this and my parents actually bought me this little plant stand for it to go on as well. And then the second one is this little guy right here. I actually don't remember the name. It's some type of fern. Um, I tried to like look on the thing, but it's, I didn't see a sticker that shows what it is. So if you know what this one is, you'll have to leave me a comment down below, but it's some type of fern and I still haven't decided. I'm thinking about just keeping it right here in between these two chairs. What do we think? I think it looks pretty good right there. I think it's pretty good light too. But yeah, I just feel like there's so much that we have to catch up on. We also got a new to us couch. I don't know that you've actually seen it in the vlog yet. There it is right there. So it's not a brand new couch. It's actually a couch that I believe belonged to my aunt and uncle. Then my mom and dad had it for some reason. And then my brother had it and now Matt and I have it. So if you remember our couch from before, it was a couch that we bought very quickly when we first moved into this apartment because basically we're, we were just trying to fill the space and so that couch was extremely uncomfortable I think it was I think it was from Wayfair maybe so anyway my mom was like hey we've got this couch Trevor's got to get rid of it and Matt and I were like okay sure we'll take it we'll try it out we I don't know what kind of couch I want that's the problem I don't know what kind of color I want. I know I want something like really comfortable, kind of like the cloud couch, but like not that expensive. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that one is going to be kind of like our little placeholder until we can figure out what kind of couch we want and start saving for it. But anyway, okay, the other thing that I wanted to share with you all, tomorrow I have a very exciting package coming. I have been on quite a little journey I guess really starting this summer with figuring out about clean products. I've talked about it a little bit before. I talked about it specifically, I think for like the first time in my vlogs when we were talking about packing for the beach and I was trying to find a good clean sunscreen and we ended up going with Sunbum. But I've also been about dead to try some clean makeup products because as I get older, I really should have started this sooner, but I've been really trying to do a good job at taking care of my skin. So I've got, you know, my whole little like morning and nighttime skincare routine that I try to do every single day. And I feel like this summer I have really done a good job at that. As far as my makeup goes, I was just 
you know, continuing to use what I had. So tomorrow my makeup is supposed to come. I ordered brand new makeup, all clean, so excited. I'm going to do a completely separate video on that, like a little unboxing. And I think what I'm actually going to do with that video too is kind of create like a simple clean beauty makeup look with it. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of figure that out. All right. So basically our plans for today included like, you know, going to get groceries, but also I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to set a timer for like 15 minutes and do like a little bit of a tidy up because I still haven't made the bed this morning. I just want to take care of that and a few other small things. And then basically we're going to kind of like chill. I've got a few school things to do. I've got to print cut, laminate my name tags and cubby tags. And I'm going to share that with you guys as well. And then I had a few comments about the name tag that I made for my desk. So if I haven't deleted that already from my computer, I'm going to kind of show that to you and show you how I made that really quick, just because I had those few questions and it's so easy. So if you want to be able to make your own name tag for your desk, I'll insert like a little clip here of what I'm talking about. Very easy. So I'm going to show that to you as well. But we're going to do a quick little tidy, then I'm going to do just a few little school things in preparation for Tuesday because as I've told you guys in some other vlogs, like these are my last few days of my summer vacation and I am so sad, but it's okay. We're going to have a great year. That's what I keep telling myself. It's going to be a great year. All right, just went around and vacuumed pretty much the whole apartment. Oh my gosh, it's so nasty. This is really embarrassing of me to show you this, but I'm going to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's nasty. I really need to clean the inside of that. This is the vacuum cleaner that we have. I got this for Christmas because it's what I asked for. <laughs> it's the shark. Um, I think it's the one for pets. It does a fantastic job getting up all of our pet hair that we've got. Yeah, I need to clean the inside of that. That's really gross, but that'll be for another day. But we vacuum pretty regularly and that still is what it gets up. All right, it is time for us to do just a little bit of schoolwork. I am trying really hard this year to like, I tried really hard last year to make sure that I wasn't bringing home a ton of work, but like this year I'm going to try even harder, but we do have a few things to do. Like I said, we've got to, I was going to actually just send off my cubby tags and desk tags to like um, the UPS store, but I, I, it was just giving me a really hard time last night. And then it was like, it was changing up my font. I didn't like it. So I'm just actually going to print them here at home because I have the HP instant ink and I think that I'll have enough ink to print them out. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so we're just going to do that. But really quick before I do that, okay, I didn't save it, but really quick, I'm going to show for those of you who are wondering how I made my little Miss Houston desk tag for the front of my desk and those really big letters. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm in PowerPoint right now. I'm going to open up just a blank presentation. And obviously this is what it looks like when you first open it up and we want to turn it the other way. So we're going to go at the very top where it says design, click design. We're going to go to slide size page setup and then under our width and our height we're going to change it so you want it to be like the size of a paper so we're going to change the width to 8.5 by 11 click ok i always click scale up i don't know why but that's what i do so i click scale up and it turns it this way so it's easier for us to work. So I did buy the fonts that I used on Teachers Pay Teachers. All right, I think it was this one right here. I think it was the AG Resting Teacher Face Solid. And after that, I'm gonna make it really big just to basically fill up our entire page. Now to change the inside, I actually wanted it to go with the theme that I bought on Teachers Pay Teachers. So I shared this in a previous vlog, but basically what I do is I went to Teachers Pay Teachers and I um, took a picture of what one of the products looked like. And then I inserted a picture over here so I could pull the colors from it. Here is the one that I bought. It was the Daisy Dreams 
classroom decor bundle. These are some of the colors that are in the little thing that I bought. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot that and I'm going to just drag that photo, that image into PowerPoint. And PowerPoint is just so much easier to manipulate and move around. So I'm actually going to put it right there to the side. All right, so now we're gonna change the color of the M. So I'm gonna to go to shape format. We're gonna to go to text fill. I click the arrow, I go to more fill colors. We're gonna go down here to our little color picker. And now we can pick the colors that are specifically in the photo that we're using. So let's say I want that really pretty golden yellow color. I'm going to click it, click okay, and boom. Now it is the same color as our picture right here. Now on my desk tag, I actually had it doubled. So um, I had something underneath it as well. So really quick, let me show you how to do that. And then basically that is how I made my name tag. Hopefully this is somewhat helpful. So I'm just going to copy and paste my letter. I just kind of moved it around until it made almost like a, like a 3D letter, kind of like that, if that makes sense. Let's say that I want the bottom one to be, I used Dalmatian print and I just went online and found a photo. But again, you can go to that more colors and let's say we wanna use that peachy color or like that coral color, change that. And then I'm just going to drag my letter back over and make it kind of like a 3D shape like that. And that is how I made my desk name tag. I just pulled the colors from a picture from the product that I bought on Teachers Pay Teachers. I hope that was helpful. That was like, that was a lot of steps. I just had, you know, a few people ask and I wanted to go ahead and put that little demonstration in there as well. So, okay, I've been sitting here for a while. I finally got the cubby tags cut out and I have printed out my desk tags. I've just been sitting here talking to my mom on FaceTime. All right, we just got an exciting delivery. Yes, I have changed. This is my second time changing today. I don't know, this one just felt a little bit comfier. So I decided to put this one on instead of the other pink one that I had on, but yay. Look at that. I can't remember if I mentioned earlier that I was expecting my coffee order to be delivered. These are just the Vol Volteso, I guess is how you say that. They are blonde espresso pods. They look like that. I'm excited about trying those. I like to kind of buy my coffee pods in bulk. Matt's mom had actually bought me my last little bit, so it was the Starbucks pods. And now I have stocked up on the Nespresso ones. But I recently learned that Nespresso actually has a double shot, which I think that I want to get on and look and see if they've got that where I can order it because sometimes one shot is just not enough. And then I feel wasteful like doing two. I don't know, that's just me. But I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my little container that's by our Nespresso. All right, Matt just got home and he has changed and I think we're gonna go ahead and go out, do a little date night, we might go grab dinner. What else? Maybe go to Target. You know you're an adult when your date night consists of going to get pillows from Home Goods. Well, I don't know that we're gonna buy pillows tonight, but we do, yeah, we need to look because our pillows that we're on, the old couch are like way too small for the couch that I told you that we now have. So we're gonna go look and just see what we can find, but I'll get like a few clips as we're out and then I will catch up with you guys again when we get back home. <laughs> All right, we're back home. We had a fun little time. We finished up buying just a few groceries and I did get a new vanilla syrup to try with my coffee tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. And then we went and got some food at Cracker Barrel. It was just a good little date night. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog because actually this vlog is going live tomorrow. So I've got to get busy finishing up with some editing and getting the thumbnail ready, just all of that fun stuff. But if you wouldn't mind, hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.
if your sweetness could be